Hey guys, you might be wondering why would somebody choose a partner card like this Asus Tough Gaming 4060 Ti OC we have right here over Nvidia's Founders Edition? Well, that's what we're going to dive into today. You see, while Founders Edition cards are great, they're typically designed to offer baseline experience for the new GPU architecture. Partner cards, on the other hand, often bring a few extra goodies to the table. With partner cards, they may not only be overcooked out of the box for better performance, but also include robust cooling solutions and often unique aesthetic and design choices that might align better with your gaming rig. Some partner cards may even offer more display outputs or better power delivery systems than you might find on a Founders Edition card. In this example, the ports on both cards are the same, but we certainly have a much bigger card. The Asus 4060 Ti stands tall at just over three slots. Its design choice that raises questions especially considering the potential of more streamlined design. One can't help but wonder, why not sculpt it a tad smaller to comfortably fit within the standard three-slot design? With its free fan configuration, the Tough Gaming 4060 Ti is significantly longer. This design choice necessitates the inclusion of a GPU holder to prevent it from sagging, ensuring the card stays secure and correctly aligned. Those are the primary physical distinctions. Now let's delve deeper into the performance side of things. Just as a side note, we have already released a comprehensive video on the 4060 Ti Founders Edition, detailing its architecture and full suite of benchmarks. If that piques your interest, we have a link in the description below. For this video though, our focus is mainly on comparing the ASOS card to the Founders Edition card to help you decide which one might be best fit for your needs. For our test bench, we're using our standard AMD 7700X system, maintaining consistency across all components except for the GPU. This allows us to isolate the performance difference attributed solely to the graphics cards. Let's start with a consistent synthetic test where we run times by extreme on the loop. This test shows us frequency response of both these cards and even though this Asus Tough Gaming card is the OC edition, it matches the Founders Edition clock speed throughout the whole test. Interestingly enough, we do see Asus card occasionally register lower dips. When it comes to power consumption, both cards are virtually identical, leading to a very similar performance per watt ratios. This result isn't surprising given that they are based on the same silicon architecture. In terms of thermal performance, both of these cards deliver comparable results, maintaining temperatures in low to mid 60s without any issues. Interestingly, both of these cards exhibit noise levels that are quieter than our current room noise floor of 36 dBA. We are aware of this and we're working towards reducing that noise floor for the future videos. In the Blender benchmark, a marginal performance difference can be observed between the two cards, with the Asus Tough Gaming card holding a slight advantage. This trend is also noticeable in the Blender render, where the factory overclocked Asus Tough Gaming card managed to shave off a full one second from the render time. I guess you guys get where I'm going with this, but to make sure we've covered it from all angles, we'll run through some games as well. In Shadow of a Tomb Raider, the average and 1 percentile performance is very close, but oddly enough, in both 1080p and 1440p, there is a significant difference in performance per watt. We end up with around 90-10% higher power efficiency on a Founders card. In a much lighter title, World War Z, at 1080p, the Founders card actually delivers better 1 percentile performance, as well as being more power efficient. At 4K, on the other hand, the table flips, and Asus card is actually faster on average and 1 percentiles. Despite this, it still lags slightly behind on the power efficiency, though the difference is marginal. A slightly different kind of comparison is Formula 1 2022 game, with the highest settings and ray tracing enabled. The ASOS card consistently outperforms the Founders Edition card by a small margin when DLSS is enabled across different setups. However, it falls behind in terms of power efficiency. This is to be expected, as the factory overclocking on the ASOS card pushes it slightly harder, which often results in sacrificed efficiency. This leads us well to the conclusion, and it's kind of an L for ASUS. This Tough Gaming 4060 Ti OC has essentially the same performance as the Founders Edition. It holds the same temperature, but will likely cost more while being considerably larger. Given the option, I'd probably choose the FE card. However, I understand that availability of these cards varies by region, and many people may not have this choice. Let us know in the comments below if you are able to buy the Founders Edition card where you live and what is the price difference between it and other partner cards. Also, if you want to check out any of your items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys in the next one.